So you're thinking of moving to Salem, Oregon. Well, if your budget's between five and $600,000, this could be the video for you because we're gonna be looking around Salem a little bit at four different houses in that price range. And we'll get into it right after this. Well, if you're new to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living here in Salem, Oregon, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Salem. My name is Ryan Welty and I'm a real estate agent here in Salem, Oregon. And I love working with people just like you who are thinking of moving to Salem, Oregon. So whether you need to move in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give me a call, text, email, or schedule a Zoom call with me. All my information is in the description below. I'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Salem, Oregon. Well, we are here in South Salem at Creekside Golf Course, and we are right above the clubhouse, which is right there behind me. This is an HOA community, and it's associated with the Creekside Golf Course. It has a nice pool down there, and Danny's on the Green is the restaurant in the clubhouse down there. Definitely a favorite spot for some of the residents here. Uh, we are here at midday, and you see a lot of retirees out there going for lunch definitely a popular spot to check out. Well, for today's video, we are going to be exploring houses in the five to $600,000 price range. Now here in Salem, this is above your average sales price. So you're going to be looking at a little nicer houses, usually a little bigger houses. Generally in this price range, you're going to start out at the three bedroom, two bath, around 1200 square feet. And then you can go all the way up to closer to 3000 square feet uh, with four bedroom, five bedrooms, and a few bathrooms in there too. This price range really does have a lot of variety in it in size of house, number of bedrooms, and location is going to play a key factor in how much house you're going to get in this price range. So currently there are actually 82 active listings in this price range in Salem, Oregon. Now 10 to 15 of these are going to be new construction or at least built within the last two years. And the rest of these are going to be resale older houses um, anywhere, from 90, anywhere from 1930s to up to the present. So you do get a lot of variety again in your house size and the house age when you're in this price range. And we are also not in the same market that we were in even a year ago. Right now we are in the summer of 2023 and it has slowed down a little bit. These houses are not flying off the shelves as quickly as they used to be. So some of these houses are actually sitting on the market for 30 to 40 days, which is a lot different from a year ago when they're just flying off the shelf. So if you're looking to buy in this price range, you can actually take your time. You can think about it. Again, you have those 82 different options to look at. So you're not just looking at one or two houses. You have a little bit of variety out there to consider. So if you are needing to move, if maybe if you're relocating or if you have a lot of equity in your house and you're just trying to relocate to a different area of town, then this can be a great time to do it because you have a little bit of time to think about it. Now, some of those houses are flying off the market. There was one I saw just a few weeks ago that listed and three days later they had a contract and then it sold actually two weeks later for cash so it was only on the market for 18 days so sometimes you can get something flying off the market quickly but again usually you're looking at active on the market for about 40 days well that is enough of an introduction let's head out and check out our first house here we are coming up on our first listing and we are in south salem we are pretty close to kubler and sunnyview which is a nice location because you have really quick access to a lot of things, whether you're trying to get to downtown or maybe the Costco. Uh, again, just really nice access to a lot of those amenities. Some nice grocery stores here on South Commercial. There's a Walmart and a Fred Meyers pretty close by. But the house we are looking at today is right here at the end of the cul-de-sac, so right here behind me. It is a beautiful looking single level house. This house is listed right now at $525,000. It is a three bedroom, two bath. It has 1,931 square feet, and it comes up at $272 per square foot, which is a decent price for the square footage for this price range. Uh, not the best, but you are getting a very well updated house. Again, single level is usually pretty nice, especially for those retirees looking to go down so they don't have those stairs in their house. I live in a single level house now, and I've gotten used to it, so I really don't want to go to a house with stairs. It does have those solar panels, which isn't super common, uh, it is getting a little bit more popular, but definitely on the minority of the houses. And I'm pretty sure those ones are owned, which is nice because they just help with your electricity bill. You don't have to pay out that lease or the loan you got on them to put them installed. But other than that, there is not much to say about this quiet little neighborhood. Again, looks really good. We are on the top of this hill. 
has those nice mature trees showing it's an established little neighborhood. But other than that, let's get on to the next one. Okay, and we are in Creekside, and we're gonna look at that house I was telling you about here. It's a little busy around here, so we'll just do a little walk by so you can check it out. And then we'll keep walking around the neighborhood. That way we don't disturb the guys doing some renovations on the house right over there. We are in Creekside, which is this very nice neighborhood. And now the starting price for houses that are for sale in Creekside is really around the $500,000 price range. You really don't find anything below that. Um, but you do find them in $500,000 price range and then up all the way to a million and sometimes a little bit over that. How's it going? Um, but as you can tell, we are in a very beautiful spot, lots of nice looking houses, uh, very good landscaping. Um, everyone's taking good care of their houses around here. Uh, they, Creekside does have an HOA fee. It is very reasonable though, especially for Salem. Uh, it is only at $49 a month. Yeah. Which I think is pretty reasonable. There are definitely some that are quite a bit more expensive even in the area right around here. Now the house that was for sale right back there is actually the most expensive house we were checking out today. I know we're not really looking at it too much, but it's listed right at $599,000. It is just a three bedroom, two bath, but it is very nice, very well updated, has a lot of features that people are looking for. Uh, the street we are walking down actually borders the golf course. So there is a golf course right over there, just on the other side of those houses. So the houses on the other side of the street, uh, my left over here, I think are a little less risky because you're not gonna be risking those broken windows for maybe some of those less experienced golfers, but hey, uh, you don't get those golf course views either. And so the house we are checking out, again, listed at 599, a three bed, two bath, right at 1,876 square feet. And the price per square foot brings it up to $319 per square foot. So a little bit more expensive, but again, you are in this kind of more luxury area where you have a lot of very nice houses in the area. So that does bring up the price a little bit more than some of those other areas that might not be in an HOA in Salem. And this community does attract quite a few of the retiree age. It is not a 65 and older only community, but it does attract quite a few people in that stage of life. Uh, it is a little bit busy out here today. We are looking at a little bit of a heat wave. So people are out trying to get their work done before that happens. Um, but other than that, it is usually pretty quiet and a nice little neighborhood on the golf course. So with that, we are gonna head out and we are gonna go to the next one. Okay, and here we are at the next house, and we are again in South Salem. Yes, I know it just how the chips fell this time, but we are in a little new construction development, and there are actually three houses for sale. We'll just focus on one, but over here, the one on the end of the streets for, I think, 580, then 585 down there. Uh, the one next door is under contract, and as you can tell, there are a few more down there that are still being built and will be on the market soon, I am assuming. And this is, of course, new construction built this year, everything on this little cul-de-sac. So just a few houses, not a huge development, but again, just a nice little brand new neighborhood here that you can move into. And this house is listed just under $565,000. It is a three bedroom, two and one half bath. It has 1,891 square feet, bringing the price per square foot to $299 per square foot. And since it's brand new construction, they are gonna follow the popular trends of the day. They have some very nice modern finishes with that garage door, which really makes the house look a little sleeker. And that bamboo accent wood over there by the front door. And inside you're gonna have those really nice finishes that you'd expect in a new construction build. Now this house is completely finished, so you're not gonna be able to customize it at all, which can be a little bit of a downside because if you buy something that's currently under construction, you have a little bit of customization options there but this one is ready to go right now, which is nice because you don't have to wait for it to be finished. 
So I just want to show you some of that new construction because there is quite a bit in this price range and quite a bit of it's right here. But that's enough with this house. Let's get on to the next one in North Salem. And here we are at the last house of the video. And this is actually the house I was the most excited to show you just because it is a unique older house here in Northeast Salem. Uh, it has been on the market for a while, almost 30 days. I think it's at 28. Um, and it's probably because of that road right there behind us. It is a fairly busy spot here in Salem. But we are looking at this house right here behind me. And this is a huge house. It is listed just at $550,000. It has five bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. This has 3,412 square feet, which is the biggest house we've seen by far. And it has the lowest price per square feet you're gonna see in a while, which is $161 per square foot. Now that is a steal of a deal here in Salem. Now with that price per square foot, you're normally looking at houses that are struggling and need a lot of updating and probably aren't even move in ready. And this house, while it's older, it is from 1931 was when it was built. It is still in good condition. My guess is they've updated within the last 20 years. It's not super modern, but it is nice. Uh, there is a basement, which is partially unfinished. And so that might be part of it. It's not like a house that needs to be totally gutted. It looks to be in really good condition. Very unique, has lots of character in there. Lots of bump out, lots of storage. Obviously two stories, has tons of bedrooms. It is on a corner lot. It doesn't have a ton of property with it, which is fine. I think it's under 0.2 acres, somewhere in there. It does have that little detached garage there. Just a single car garage, not a huge space out there. But again, the house is huge and way bigger than most other things you're gonna find in Salem, at least at the price point. So if you're looking for a house and you don't want that new construction house and you want something with a little bit of character, you can definitely find these types of houses in Salem all the time. Maybe not quite as big as this one, but houses that are older, but it still look nice and have those nice finishes inside and they pop on the market every once in a while. And just one last note on the market here, if you're looking to buy in this price range, or really any price range, and it's the interest rates that are stopping you, there are some options out there for you. And when these houses are sitting here for a while, you can sometimes get sellers to negotiate with you a little bit, whether that be uh, they're paying for your closing costs. Sellers can also pay for a permanent buy down on your, on your property and sellers can also pay for a temporary buy down. So if some of these options are going to help you get into a house, definitely feel free to give me a call if you have more questions about them, or I'd be happy to refer you to a lender that can really dive into the details of what you need and what a good budget for you on a house is. Well, if you're looking to buy or sell here in Salem, Oregon, feel free to give me a call, text, or email. I'd be happy to help you make a smooth move here to Salem, Oregon. But for now, I hope to see you around town.